Welcome and thank you for joining us here on the News at 10. You know, during the legislative session, lawmakers approved hundreds of millions of dollars for Idaho schools. But now, two months later, some educators worry their schools won't see that money. And it all has to do with how the state funds schools. NB, or excuse me, News Channel 7's Abby Davis looked into this issue today. Okay, so Abby, what did you learn about it? Well, Brian, before the pandemic, schools got money based on attendance, but during the pandemic, funding was based on enrollment numbers. And now it's going back to attendance, a change some school administrators says put them, say, say put them in a tough spot. A historic investment into Idaho schools. Um, I thought it was a fantastic step forward. Causing some controversy and concerns for school administrators like Answer Charter Executive Director Heather Dennis. Towards the middle of March when we started hearing um, that there was not going to be a solution for um, updating the funding formula to be enrollment based versus going back to attendance based. Um, that's when we started to understand there would be concerns and reduction in funding for schools. Those schools temporarily got money based on enrollment during the pandemic. Now they'll get money based on attendance. So essentially with enrollment based funding, you're getting paid for the students you actually are serving. And with attendance based funding, you're still serving all those students, but you're not getting paid for a percentage of them. As a result, Reclaim Idaho founder Luke Mayville says schools aren't getting all the money lawmakers set aside during the legislative session. They were promised 330 million. They're getting about $115 million short of that. So the local advocacy group started a petition effort asking Governor Brad Little to fix the shortfall. What really um, causes problems is when you abruptly shift from one to the other without making the funding match up. That $115 million shortfall is already causing painful decisions, painful budget cuts in school districts. For answer, that difference is $189,000. So for our school, what that means is um, putting off hiring for additional teaching staff. And cutting the number of paraprofessionals. Twin Falls Superintendent Brady Dickinson says they're also making hard choices. The frustration will be from parents and staff members when you have some of those larger class sizes because you're not able to have all the staff that, that you'd like to have. In an email, Idaho State Board of Education said, quote, the legislature does not support continuing to use enrollment. Therefore, the state board will not take up consideration of another temporary rule to use enrollment for the upcoming school year. While Dickinson understands. We knew that that was going to be the case. He's still hoping for some support. It would be so helpful while we're working to get those attendance rates up if there was some temporary language to help this year so that we didn't see so, so much of, the, of those funds left on the table. Whether school districts get that additional help remains to be seen. Little's office told me today they'll continue monitoring effects or efforts rather to improve school attendance to pre-pandemic levels and will make any necessary adjustments. And Brian, everyone I talked to today, they really encourage um, everyone, um, if they're concerned, to call the governor's office. Uh, that petition that we talked about a little bit earlier, that already has more than 7,000 signatures. Well, as you mentioned, Abby, this lack of money that seems to be showing up now, it kind of trickles down through the entire system from everything from what they pay their staff to the teachers that were promised about uh, $6,400, I believe, a pay raise. Yeah, and with COVID relief funding, uh, that money is running out any time now, yep. uh, likely within the year. There's a lot of issues just kind of compounding on one another right now. All right, we'll keep track of that, of course, several months before the next school year begins. Thank you, Abby.